You have the latest list from the State Department. The dignitaries planning to attend the funeral. Oh, yes. I have it right here. Uh, General de Gaulle, Prince Philip, even the Soviet foreign minister. More than we were expecting. Oh, yes. There's dozens of names. Good. Will you read them to me? Yes. Uh, from the United Nations, there's uh, Paul Hoffman, managing director, David B. Vaughan, the King of Belgium, Denmark, the Crown Prince George, Bulgaria, the Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Candidates, the Prime Minister, Lester B. Pearson, Austria, the Chancellor. I don't know, I think you should just try it without it. We've been together a long time, haven't we, Nancy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I used to worry that you might be jealous of me. Oh, stop it. No, you never did anything to make me feel that way. But I worried after I married Jack, after he won the election. Now that seems ridiculous, anyone, anyone being jealous of me. Buried two children. Helen buried my husband. You know, I was jealous of that dress you wore in Vienna. <laughs> I, know, I know that it's hard to see it right now, but you have your whole life ahead of you. That's a terrible thing to say. You do. Terrible, terrible thing to say. But you do. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What will you do now? Oh, I'll stay with you. You won't go anywhere. No, I'm not going anywhere. I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> Those kids are so lucky to have you. No, oh, they're not lucky at all. They're not lucky. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs>